In the previous video of the bomb calorimetry, I showed you how to make a pellet. Right? So we got to the point of having made this pellet and put it in this little cup. This goes inside the bomb in this little holder here. The cup sits down like this. And then we need a way to light the sample on fire. So what we're going to do is, these are two electrical connections. We'll hook them up to a power source. And we'll run a little fuse wire between the two electrical connections and heat the fuse wire to light the sample on fire. This is how the fuse wire comes. It's on a card. And on the card it says how much energy is generated by burning the fuse wire because some of the wire will be burned in the process too. You'll collect what's left over and weigh it to figure out what wasn't burned, how much was actually burned. So you'll take this wire and measure it with a ruler, 10 centimeters of it, and cut a 10 centimeter piece off. Once you've got that 10 centimeter piece, you have to connect it properly to this holder so that the wire contacts both the electrical contacts and the sample you want to light on fire, the little pellet. So this is a little piece of the wire. I'm handling it with gloves, which isn't a bad idea. You could also just handle it with forceps. And actually, usually when I'm for doing the wrapping, that's exactly what I do. So it's important that you wrap these right. What essentially has to happen is it's going to go through the hole here and come back out. And that's got to go underneath the main lead going down to the pellet. So for example, I would do this, thread it into here, grab it in the back. Bend it around, and you may have to switch which hand I'm doing with it. You grab the back side, pull it around, make sure it's against the thing, pull this down on top of it. on the other side. get this touching the pellet but not touching the metal cup. Because if it's touching the metal cup, it'll just melt to where it touches the metal cup. So you have to sort of grab it, and I'll try to do this while staying out of the way. Sort of lift it up and bend it in. Bend it down so it touches the top of your pellet. You may have to work at this a little bit to get it to stay in the right place. You try not to make any sharp, really sharp cakes because sharp cakes sometimes will heat too much. So what I've got is a loop of the wire touching the pellet. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. I'm also going to raise one of the uh, holders when I before I zoom in so you can see the way the wire goes underneath. So 
So we're zooming in close to the thing so that you can see. So you see the pellet down in there and you can see the wire I hope, touching the pellet. And then if we come down a little bit here, you can hopefully get a good view of the wire going underneath itself. And then I'm going to back back up so I can show you the rest of this. So if you've done this right, there'll be a good contact between these two leads here where through this wire. So you have to measure the resistance and ohms on a ohm meter between those two leads. And hopefully you can see the screen here. 1.5 mega ohms. So that's not good. Now of course I have my Holder up, so maybe that's the problem. Okay, so now we're getting about eight buttons or less. So that's pretty good. So that will work. So now you've got your thing put together to go in the bomb and you need to put it in the bomb. I'm going to back off just a little bit so you can see the bomb. So this is the metal bomb. It's a big piece of stainless steel and they get checked because they're pressure vessels and you, they can break or rupture if they're not in good shape. Before you use it, make sure you clean out the inside. It should not have significant amounts of soot or anything like that in there. You load the bomb simply by putting this in and slide it down till it the O-ring seals. And then we have a screw top to hold it down. Notice this is all pretty substantial. Do not need to screw it down super tight, just firm. So that's good enough. All right. The next video will be about how to charge the bottom with pure oxygen.